Hello, welcome to Camperland again. It's another cold morning, so we're back in the workshop. It's just a short video just to show you how to check and then replace, if necessary, the 12N 7 pin plug on the front of a trailer or a camper. The first thing we're going to do is check the plug to see if we actually do need to replace it. We're going to be looking for damage to the outer casing, especially where it meets the socket. We're going to make sure the pins have no rust, no surface rust at all. And more importantly, we need to make sure that the pins aren't broken. And as you can clearly see on this one, we've got two broken pins, which means we will need to replace this plug. The first thing we need to do is to remove the old plug. However, on this trailer, I have got an excess of cable, which will allow me to cut it off straight at the back and this will mean I'll have nice clean cables to which attach the new plug to make sure that once that's fitted it will then work correctly. Now we've removed the old plug we've removed some of the outer sheathing and this will expose the seven wires that are inside. A good tip at this point before we start to strip these wires is to put the little weather seal and the end cap off the plug on first so as not to damage the wires trying to fit them after we've stripped them. It doesn't matter which sequence you do, basically all we're going to do is take a small amount off the end of each wire and once we've done all seven we can then start to fit the plug. The next step is to remove the internals from the new plug that you're going to fit once you've done this you will clearly see on the back that each pin has a corresponding number and that also corresponds to a colour of the wires that you're going to fit. You will find on our website a diagram that you can download which will tell you what colour number corresponds to which wire. Starting from this one here, a good tip is the one in the centre is the black wire. If you fit that first, that means that it won't be difficult to fit right at the very end once you put all the wires in. It's just simply a matter of placing it in as far as it will go then tightening up so it can't come out. The next one we're going to look for is the numbers. On here number one is yellow. You just rotate it round, find number one. Just move the wires out of the way to let you get into number one. Same again, push it in as far as it will go and tighten. And you just carry on in that sequence then with number two, number three, number four. The next step once you've fitted the correct colour wire to the right number pin is to reassemble the outer casing. This particular one has a little locating pin, so it's just a matter of locating it into the grooves, making sure that it lines up correctly and when you lift over the, the lid it will click into place. The final step you must remember is to fit the waterproof seal and once that's into place screw on the outer cap and that should be your new plug fitted, ready to be tested. So now the plug's been replaced, the final thing to do is to check the lights are working correctly using the cap. Once they're all working correctly, that's the job done. So thanks again for watching. If you now feel confident enough to do the job yourself, again Camperlands can tell you all the parts needed. However, if you do feel it's a job that is a bit beyond you, you can find our contact details through the workshop on our website and we'll be able to do the job for you.